All right. So I thought I'd do a quick video here on risk profile. Now that might be a foreign term for some of you folks. Some of you may never have thought of the PFMEA as a risk profile, but I want you to see things differently. Okay, so let's say that you're a vendor, right? Actually, let's make you the customer. So you are a customer and you get product from a vendor, okay? So the vendor gives you product. When they give you their PFMEA, there is a unique combination of severity, occurrence, and detection. Now, we're used to seeing those numbers, and a lot of times it becomes white noise, and we begin to blur out what it means. But I want you to understand exactly what those numbers are telling you. Unless severity was a perfect one, did the vendor promise you that you wouldn't be impacted if they got their product wrong? No, they told you there's a real chance you're going to be impacted, some way. Unless occurrence was a perfect one, did they promise you that they would never, ever, ever have it happen? No, they told you there is a very real chance that it will happen. And if they gave you a detection value with anything other than a perfect one, did they promise you that if it happened, they would always detect it? No. So every single permutation of severity, occurrence, and detection is an admission of risk that the vendor has told you. There is a very real chance of this particular thing happening. And when you signed the PPAP, when you signed the parts submission warrant, you are taking that risk from that PFMEA into your line. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is extremely important when you look at somebody's PFMEA, be it a machine vendor, maybe it's a raw process vendor, I want you to start looking at it not as a risk priority number, an action priority number. I want you to actually look at it as an admission of risk. And the question for you as the customer needs to be, is this an acceptable risk profile? And if I've mitigated it down with the vendor to the lowest it can be, how do I protect myself now knowing that this is a reality that if it's not if it happens, it's when. Looking at the PFMEA from this perspective allows you to put the control back where you have control, in your facility. Let's be honest, vendor control is an illusion. You do not have control over another business. You do not have control over your suppliers. The only thing you have control over is your company, your resources. And the PFMEA is the quickest way to look at the risk that that vendor poses, mitigate it with them to the point where you feel it's okay to bring in, but then knowing that we can never bring risk to zero, it is now how you look at where you put your dollars in order to fortify properly. All right, if you like this video and you want more, check out our blog at plexusintl.com where we've got more videos on FMEA, Core Tools, IETF, and AS9100. All right, see you in the next one.